the best athletes in the history of Fort Wayne. It's a debate that's taken place at countless family dinner tables, late night at bars, and nowadays on social media. Starting on Monday, the new Sentinel will help to try and answer that question. A project called Fort Wayne's All-Time Greatest Series will hit the press and run for the next few months. Blake Sebring is the man behind it all, helping to tell the sport's history of the Summit City. Kiermaier is going to go to the wall. He's going to have to leap. And that ball is caught. Well, it kind of started because I got this idea of wild hair. It's like, what would a Fort Wayne fantasy baseball team look like? Like, okay, well, what if we did it for football and, and then basketball? I knew basketball would be easy to fill out, but football was actually pretty easy, too. That is how Fort Wayne's all-time greatest series was born in Blake Sebring's brain. On Monday, it'll go from plan to print. A player from the Summit City's all-time baseball, college basketball, and college football teams featured on the front page every day for the next few months. The hardest part was actually getting mug shots of everybody because some of these guys are from the 1900s. Another big challenge, trying to compare performance from different eras. I kind of look at it as if you were a first team All-American or a first team Big Ten or you know SEC football player in any era, you're going to be a, a, on the team. And I mean, that's a good resume line. We have a couple guys, Jalen Smith, won the Buckus Award, and Tyler Eifert won the Mackey Award, and I kind of figured that if those awards had been around 50 years, we'd have six, seven, eight football players who would have won those kind of awards for Fort Wayne. I mean, Emil Sitko might be the best running back Notre Dame ever produced. While some names are easy to predict, the series will also be full of surprises, even for diehard Fort Wayne sports fans. Most people don't know there's a guy from Fort Wayne who caught the first out in World Series history. You know, things like that that were fun to discover and rediscover and, ex and hopefully show people and, and they, can, they can find out today how good some of these guys were. Pretty cool stuff from Blake. He says one of the biggest motivations to do some of the projects that he does, including this one, is that Fort Wayne does not have a sports hall of fame. He thinks maybe in the future yeah. that could be something we'll see in the Summit City. Okay. Thank you, Glenn. Mm -hmm. Nick